Buenos dias, it's Jose at Gilpling Music. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to transpose for the Harmony Ocarina. Now, between the two sides, pitch to fifth apart, you have 12 notes. So, pretty much any song that just uses the 12 notes, you could do on it. Now, I'm going to give you a few tips at the end of the video. So, now transposing uh, manually. Well, I recommend you use MuseScore. It's going to save you a ton of time. So just use that and transpose up or down there. But to do it manually, just for an idea, if you're in E flat, go a half step up to E, two half steps up, and you're in F. So it's a second up from E flat to F. And then uh, if it's an A, you want to put it in C. Then to B flat, B, C, a third up. Now, for most songs, you want to match the highest note. Um, so the highest note in the song is the highest note for the harmony. And we're going to work here. I recommend you make one of these or have one. It will help to remember what scale you're in for each one. Now, the, the start with the, the tenor, E flat, only the tenor will do E flat. You will not do this one because it has D flat. That is gonna um, mean the C sharp is the same as D flat, right? So you can't go up anymore there. You, you don't do that one. So E flat maybe you, you can. Sometimes it's not very practical. Um, B flat, yep, very common. You could do B flat. It could be the G ocarina that plays the B flat. Now the F, that's usually most always the tenor, but it could sometimes be the G that does that one. Uh, I usually you might want to transpose this just up to G, but. Um, so the, mostly the tenor of that one. This one in C, either one could, could be in C. Now the G, of course, that's its main key. So usually you want the G for in G, but it could be the tenor playing it in G. Like if your notes are up here, but it's in G, it could be for tenor. Um, the D, the tenor or the G could do it in, uh, in D, usually you want the G ocarina for that one though. But keep in mind that there's a C sharp, so that bottom note there can't go up another half step. Um, so then you have to figure out what two notes are those in the chord and figure out the third one. Um, anyway, you could do D. Uh, now A, no. You cannot do A because G is a sharp. Highest note is G. So you can't go another half step up. So for the harmony, you're going to want to stay on that top half of the circle of fifths. So transpose into the top half there, and, and then you're fine. Now, um, this is actually where the bass's range is. The alto harmony's range is actually up here, and these crazy flutists like to actually write their sheet music way up here. Who did that? The logical thing to do is use the uh, uh, treble clef symbol with the little eight above it. it. Means that it's actually an octave up here. So I recommend you do that. Now, there's um, some cases, pretty rare, but for the tenor, the note might have to go one note down, like the highest note in the song um, normally would match with C, but just occasionally B. So one note down on this one sometimes. Now for the, for the alto or, or the G ocarina, then um, you could go one down and sometimes you go down two, starting to make the highest note in G. You did sacrifice a little bit of range, but you can do it then that way. So, um, the, now there's, the, the song is, there's several songs where you could do it on either one. 
and uh, those would be the three main keys that you would uh, do that on. If it's in a tenor in C, you could do it on alto in G and vice versa. Uh, tenor in F could be the G ocarina in, in C. The tenor in G, well, you or you could do that in the alto D. The fingering will be the same for for those three. I had the one there. Now, if it is for the tenor, and it's just going to transpose for the tenor in E flat, and that's maybe not the best song to do an E flat in, or there's a lot of uh, fashion notes, and you got to um, half cover this one can be a little tricky. You might want to go down two notes, so the highest note is then an E, and you can play that on the alto. So sacrifice two notes, play that on the alto. And, um, now, the tips, I would uh, recommend, well you can go to MuseScore and get a bunch of my uh, sheet music for it. Um, I would recommend that you just mark the numbers uh, with the sharps and the flats, because between all these different keys and it can be just a lot easier um, by marking them. Now, remember if the low side, like if you have a song that already has uh, two notes in it, remember the, the lowest note is always going to be on the low side of the ocarina. Um, and the lowest note is uh, too high, then what two notes are they and what chord is that? And then you pick the third note in that chord. And it could be a seven, too. Now, the tricky part of doing like a C sharp on this, um, well, how do you have call that little, little tiny hole there? Well, you don't actually, the trick is to uh, hold your finger there, but don't press it and you have a C sharp. You press it and then you're down to C. That is, is, is a little tricky though, and in some parts where I would uh, just do that on the low side, um, it would be a lot easier to do that on the low side and then um, just for that side. So, sometimes I do, I do that. So then uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if it was, and uh, thanks for watching.